Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 15 the word of the Lord came again unto me saying moreover thou son of man take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah the southern tribe and for the children of Israel his companions then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph the stick of Ephraim now Ephraim has been separated they've sinned against God Ephraim's joined the idols let them alone for all the house of Israel his companions now it's funny because the Mormons think they're Ephraim house of Israel Mormons are not Jewish that's one of those religions that God's all finished with the Jews and we're the Jews we're the spiritual Jews I remember uh, a colored perform African supposed to be a funny man you know he was a black Israel no you're not you're a Gentile you're a Gentile so we got two sticks here one is Judah in Israel one is Ephraim for Joseph and if I were to take scripture for scripture not look into what date the birthday of Jesus is but we can have the assumption from what the scriptures foretell I would take if it's a tree I would say it's a fig tree stick if it's a vine I would say a great great because Jesus likens Israel to a fig tree or Israel's likened to a vineyard and join them one to another into one stick make them one graft them in join them unity and they shall become one in thy hand so nation of Israel today is scattered they were scattered in Ezekiel's time but there is coming not that God's all finished with the Jew there is coming a time that God's going to unite them all together as one again and when the children of thy people the Hebrews the Jews shall speak unto thee saying wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these and what's this sign what is what are you doing say unto them thus saith the Lord God behold I will take the stick of Joseph Ephraim which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel his fellows and I will put them with him even with the stick of Judah and make them one unity stick and they shall be one in my hand that hasn't happened yet that happens at the second advent Lord Jesus Christ into the millennium and into eternity and the sticks wherein thou writest the names shall be in thine hand before their eyes and say unto him thus saith the Lord behold I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen where they are today whether they be gone England Germany America Canada outer space and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land now we get into the millennium now we get second advent into the millennium I will always say it and I will say it again God is not finished with that Jew he'll never be finished with that Jew they are his people and they and he will be their God and they will be in their land I don't care what the United Nations says I don't care which president I don't care what the prime ministers I don't care what the kings and queens and all the people in the land I don't care what the what, what, what the Arabians say I don't care what the PLO said I don't care what the Afghanistan say I don't care what Ishmael says I don't care what the Catholic Church say I don't care what the Baptists say I don't care what anybody says that land belongs to Israel and they are God's people they're on the shelf right now but they'll be taken off that shelf one day and they will again be the apple of God's eye. We need to pray for them. We need to witness to them. We need to bless them. I will make them one nation that land upon the mountains of Israel. We've seen the mountains all through Ezekiel. 
and one king shall be king to them all. They don't have no king today. They shall be no more two nations as they are in Ezekiel's time. Israel north, Judah south. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more of their idols. It's coming to time the idols will be gone in Israel. Nor with their detestable things. Nor with any of their transgressions. Spoken about Jeremiah and Ezekiel. But I will save them. Oh, look at that. I will save them. Out of their dwelling places. Where they had sinned. And will cleanse them. Look at that cleansing. So they be my people. And I will be their God. God ain't done with them. David my servant. Now this would be David the line of Jesus Christ. Jesus. David my servant shall be king over them. And he doesn't come out and name Jesus as Jesus. But Jesus is of the seed of David. And they shall all have one shepherd. Jesus. John chapter 10. They shall also walk in my judgments. Law. Observe my statutes. Law. And do them. Law. Works. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given Jacob my servant. Wherein your fathers had dwelt. Ain't the land of Palestine. It's the land of Israel. They shall dwell therein. Millennium. Even they and their children and their children's children forever. Millennium. My David shall be prince. There's David. Forever. Jesus is the king. Jesus is the shepherd. David is the prince. More I'll make a covenant of peace with them. Millennium. Hey now. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them in the land. And multiply them. And will set my sanctuary the temple. In the midst of them forevermore. He has no sanctuary in Israel today. There is no dwelling place of God in Jerusalem. The dumb of the rock is there. And God don't dwell at the dumb of the rock. Because God ain't Allah. And Allah ain't God. Ishmael are not God's people. And God's people is not Ishmael. My tabernacle, it was just destroyed. The tabernacle that is in Jerusalem at this time has been destroyed. Also shall be with them. Yea, I will be there. You know, my only place where you have a tabernacle, a dwelling place, is not the church. It's Israel. So when you liken your building to a tabernacle, to the temple of God, you are stealing from Israel. The promises of Israel. And when you got the temple, the temple, the tabernacle, you are putting yourself back under the law. Which Paul wrote a whole entire epistle to one, I forget, one of the churches. The Ephesians, Colossians. But see, you know, you want a nitpick. You want all the red candies and leave the green and the blue. But you got to have all the colors. You can't have the temple, the Holy Ghost, as your church building, and they say, well, we don't follow the law. Because in that temple was the law, and the law is that temple. My tabernacle also shall be with them, Israel. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people again. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel. They don't know that today. 
They're fighting over who's God, which is God. Oh, the Pope is God. Angel Morali is a God. Ishtar is a God. Allah is a God. And then all the gods of the, Indi of the Indies in India are gods. Then you got the Japanese God, you got the Chinese God, you got the Russian God. And you got all the different religions in America and the world gods. But there is one God, there is Jehovah, and there is one nation under Jehovah, and it's not America, it's Israel. And if you're going to say it's God, you're stealing from Israel's blessings again, you're on bad grounds. You know, the church, oh, you know, come up to the prayer altar. Where do you find in the Pauline epistles an altar? Now, I'm, I was, I've been accused, you're Paul-onlyism. No, I'm not. I enjoy a good study of the book of Proverbs. I enjoy the book of Jeremiah. Where did Paul say, okay, now come up to the altar. Where do you find Paul using the Romans road, even though he wrote it? We got a great assembly here today, Sunday morning, the house of God. Really? What about the, I'm not going to put denomination, but what about the born again Bible believing Christians? They're in the next town that you you live in. Or across your state. Are you the only house of God? Because in the Bible there was one house of God and only one house of God. Sure got the stock on it, don't you? And in that house there was an altar. And in that that, that place David set up and and, and Wire for God. <laughs> Just tell you what the Bible says. When my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. So even after the thousand years of millennia's up, God is going to be dwelling in the midst of Israel in the new earth. Forever. <laughs> 